Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I'm going to show you how to make the potion bottles that are in a lot of my Halloween displays this year. So this year, our Halloween theme became witches and wizards. So I knew I wanted some potion bottles to go along with my decor. I actually bought some on Etsy and when they arrived, they were this tiny. So I thought I can make these better than this and I'm gonna give it a try. So I did and now I've got potion bottles that I love in my witch fireplace display and in my Harry Potter themed entryway. I'm gonna show you how I did it today. Also, if you guys notice, I'm in a new space. Um, this is actually our basement. It's not finished yet, so I don't know what you can actually see behind me right now, but there's still holes in the wall and different things, but I needed to have a place where I could craft, and this is where I will be crafting in the future. Anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. So to start, here's what you need for this project. You need your potion bottle, and I like the kind with the little cork that you can hot glue in there later. You're gonna need some cotton balls. You're gonna need a skewer, some glitter in whatever color you want your potion to be, water, a funnel that's gonna help you get everything into your bottle, and some food coloring. And last but not least, some embellishments. So I like to use twine as an embellishment on the top. Um, really the sky's kind of the limit. I've got some beads here on my other potion bottles. I used a lot of little charms. You can kind of go crazy with the embellishments or you can keep it simple. Either way works. Today I'm going to make Vampire's Blood potion for you guys. It's the only one I have left to make in kind of my witch set theme. So I will show you how I do that. And then I did actually make some labels that you guys can download on the blog post for these. So you can go and you can get them and you can stick them on your own potion bottles and have the same kind of set. All right, so first we're gonna start by adding a little bit of water. And then this is gonna be primarily red. Actually, I don't know if I need this just to add that. We're gonna take that out for this. This is gonna be primarily red and I want it really red. I'm also sorry if you guys can hear my children hopping around upstairs. <laughs> um, next, you're gonna take your cotton balls and you're going to just start pulling them apart. You wanna make sure that you get them really kind of pulled apart well so that they almost look like that. So kind of like a spider web. And then you're gonna take them and you're gonna shove them into your potion bottle. And here's where the skewers start coming in handy. So you're gonna do this with a lot of the cotton balls you will need more than you think you need. And keep going. I love the color that this is already. Perfect for kind of vampire's blood. So I will tell you guys, um, these aren't just for Halloween. My daughter actually saw the Harry Potter ones and she was like, oh, I want those in my room after you're done with them. So if you have a kid who is in love with Harry Potter right now, um, or who is just kind of into this kind of thing, these would even make some fun gifts. The Harry Potter ones I especially love because they just go so well with the movie. Okay, so now that I've got some cotton balls in there, I'm gonna put this back on and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some glitter in. A lot of glitter in. And then I'm also gonna put in black glitter. I thought that would kind of be cool for a vampire's blood 
I have a Dragon's Breath potion that I did and I used red and orange and yellow and it made it look really cool. And I think this will work for this too. Add in more water and then put in some more cotton balls again. So basically you go about layering this until you're happy with the way it looks. There is not a specific amount of water you put in. There's not a specific amount of food coloring you put in. There's not even really a specific amount of cotton balls you put in or glitter or whatever else you're gonna shove in this little bottle. It's really all about how you want it to look. So far that's looking really cool, but I think I wanna add some more red. Let's see if I can get it a little deeper. Especially in the bottom here. Using the skewer is kind of nice because you can poke it all around and you can actually kind of spread your glitter around, which is what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's a little better. I like that better. And now let's put more cotton in. I will say you don't have to use as much glitter as I'm using. I happen to really like glitter. I think it makes the potions look really cool, but if you're not as into it, you don't have to use as much. I would recommend using some though so that it kind of breaks up what you're seeing in the bottle. So when you're making these, you can decide how high you want the potion to go. I recommend going at least three fourths of the way up the bottle. Um, I personally like them, if I'm using this bottle, to either here or even a little higher up. Um, the only reason I recommend that is because if you're gonna do a bottle with like half a potion or even less, it just might look a little strange. Not to mention, you'll get probably a little more movement in everything inside. Whereas the way you're doing this with packing down the cotton balls, you're not gonna get a lot of movement in there. So it'll be perfect for a display piece. I love how the red and the black are looking together. I think I'm gonna put in a little more black actually. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move it around with my skewer. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear this or, or not. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but um, I'm actually sitting right next to our sump pump too down here and we don't have doors on the cabinets yet, which is part of our basement remodel that we still have left to finish because everything is taking a really long time now. If you have been, done any renovations this year, you know what I'm talking about, um, just with all the shortages with COVID and everything. So I'm sitting right next to the sump pump and it rained today. So if you hear any water, that's where it's coming from. This is looking really good though. I love this combination. When you get to the top, be careful. It could squirt out at you, which is what it just did to me. I'm 
make just a few more cotton balls and then I think we'll be ready to cork it up. Okay, so I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and cork this up with some hot glue. And I'm just gonna put it around the rim of the bottle. And shove the cork in. The nice thing about the hot glue is that it looks like spider webs when it gets all over. So sometimes you might wanna keep that. Okay, so there is my potion. Now I'm gonna add just a little embellishment here. Let's see. So, I feel like it's vampires and maybe I wanna go with this leather. I wonder if I can get, oh yeah, I might be able to do that. Okay, so. Let's see if I can also add some beads to it. I do not have the best scissors right now, but we're gonna give it a go. All right. Yeah, that's too small, that's not gonna work. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and put the leather around it instead of using any beads. Or I guess I have these little hearts. Or maybe I do a heart, no, probably not right. Probably not right for vampires. Okay, so again, there is no rhyme or reason to how much you use, how much you don't use. Um, when I use the leather or I use the twine here, you can glue it or you can just wrap it around and tie it really well. So for the leather, I think I'm just gonna wrap it around and tie it for right now. I don't actually know which side I wanna have the front. Maybe this side, not the side facing you guys. I think this side, I like how dark it looks on that side. This side's got some brighter spots, which bright doesn't really feel like vampire, right? So let's go ahead and just pull it as tight as you can pull it. I'm gonna undo it again, I think. I kind of like how the knots in some of this look all the way up. Just gives it a little something extra. So, I'm gonna make some knots on, or I'm gonna attempt to make some knots on the front here. And then back. these ends raw you can cut them off you can hot glue it then if you want to but I kind of I can't do this backwards <laughs> I kind of um, like how they just look a little raw there. And I'm just a little knot there on the front. And then I don't think I have, I don't think I brought my little label down here, but I will go grab that and show you guys how that looks. Also, um, if you want to do, if you want to age the bottle at all, you can go ahead and you can age it with some brown paint and a paintbrush paintbrush. I didn't really bring anywhere to put my brown paint. I think I'm going to leave this one as is, but I do have to do some wolf stain too. So let's clean up all the red that's here. And I'll show you how to age the bottle on the wolf stain. So I've already got two of these in my kind of potion collection now. The reason I'm doing another one is because I attempted to use some um, 
corn syrup in the wolf spain when i was doing it because i wanted like a thicker look to it um, it did not work out well. I don't recommend using corn syrup. So I'm gonna go do a couple things. I'm gonna go get my blue glitter, cause this is not it. I'm going to get the brown paint. I'm going to get something to put the brown paint on and I'm gonna wash out my funnel so that we can stick some blue glitter in there. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the Wolfsbane and I will age the bottle for you too. And I'll make it so it's an up close so you guys can really see what I'm doing each step of the way. To age the bottle, we're just gonna use some brown paint and we're gonna go ahead and basically just rub it all over the bottle in any direction you kinda like. And then really quickly, you wanna take a cotton ball and wipe some of it off. Maybe dab some of it off. Some back on in some places. And that will give the bottle a nice kind of aged look for you. That's it. So let's get started on the wolf spain. I'm going to add the water again. So now my two potions are done and I went and I actually reprinted my labels for them. I'm using this Avery sticker paper. I feel like this works best. You don't have to align anything and it's really, really simple to put on and you can even take it off. So I like using this paper. I'll put a link to it below for you guys so you can find it too. And there's also a link in the blog. Again, you can get these labels plus the Harry Potter labels, which look like this. They're just no longer this big on the blog. Thank you guys so much for following along today as I made this craft. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And for a full blog post with all the details on how to do this, please visit sugarmaplefarmhouse.com. Also, please remember to subscribe to our channel so you can follow along with everything we're doing here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse. Thank you all so much.